So, you got an Endara. Maybe you feel it, maybe you don't, right? Well, the reason for that is, is they need to be calibrated and activated by a select person of a high enough vibration or a chosen person that already has that vibration to actually activate it, right? So we can actually turn down and up the vibrations if we so choose and how perceptive we are to them as well. There is always like a piece that really calls to you and you feel it deep within you. Like it's a soul vibration, right? Like it resonates with you and you're just vibrating. It's beautiful. And some of them even trigger your third eye, right? And all these energies. So there's all of these different activations that start to come about when you actually run into Andaris and align with them. Calibration. How do you calibrate a piece? Well, you could either get somebody to calibrate it for you and they can bring in the energies and they're able to actually activate the Endara, right? Because some come pretty beat up or they need to gem up and sit in and bask in the other Endara's energy for a bit. And if you don't have any other Endara's at first, Maybe you want somebody that does or that already has that energy to be able to do that for you. So an Andara master or steward will work just fine. And I'm sure most people will just do it for you. And if not, come to me and Dana right here. <laughs> we can activate them for you. We can totally encode them with different things. Even though you don't necessarily have to do that because the Andaras themselves just come, come with those energies already. They will do everything for you and help you in the areas of your life that you need the most. All you have to do is ask and you gotta be basically just staying in alignment so you can receive, right? So they will guide you. Like I said, they are the bridge between the manifested world, the physical world, right? And your actual ideas and your creation, right? They are that bridge between spirit world and physical world. <laughs> I might repeat that a lot because it's actually very important with this. <laughs> the elemental kingdom literally is the bridge between the physical and the spiritual realm. It's all around us, right? There's elements everywhere around me right now. So, the Andaras are comprised of many different elements. And I will be going deeper into that in the qualities video which you will love because <laughs> there's a lot of good information in it. So I'll see you guys in the next video.